So you might have seen in one of my previous videos um, a new series where I'm starting to make a mini Caterham kit car. Now in the project further down the line there's going to be some internal splines and key ways to cut and at the moment I don't have anything, uh, any tools that can do that. So I decided to make a new project of it. In this video I'm going to be making a small manually operated shaper. I will be making the drawings and the instructions available to purchase um, so you too can make your own shaper. Now what I've done uh, from the cutting list, from the parcel list, is I've had some half inch steel plates pre-cut, laser profiled so all I need to do is face them off uh, and drill them. So I've got a few plates already skimmed off as you've seen me doing already. I've got a few more to do and then we'll be on to drilling the parts and uh, counting boring them, drilling and tapping holes. Now I'm not sure if this is going to be one video or two videos. Um, there's going to be quite a bit of work to do on this. Um, but we'll see how it turns out. So I'm going to carry on. I've got a few more plates left just to face off. And then we'll move on to drilling them and getting put back together. So for now we've finished with facing off the plates and we can start uh, drilling these plates to the drawings. I'm going to start with the base plate which is this plate um, and we've got some holes to drill to hold the sides down and also the, uh, the base block um, which is this part here. So we'll get this in the milling machine now and we'll drill and count and bore the holes in that. Um, there are some holes to drill in the edge of the plate along this edge. Um, but I'll do that after I've drilled the faces of all these plates because I'll have to set up my cylindrical squares and we'll get these clamped upright and then we'll drill in the edge of the plates. So there's a few plates that need holes drilled and tapped in the edges.
so those are the four holes drilled in the base plate um, to hold this down to the bench or stand or wherever it might be positioned so now we've just got some counterboard holes to drill in this face this will be the bottom side of the base plate so the bolts going through here will hold the sides and the base block to the underside of this plate so we'll uh, drill and count and bore the other holes now So that's the uh, base plate finished. We've uh, got four 8mm holes for holding down the base plate um, to a bench. And then we've got 10 holes which have been counterboard. This is the underside, so these will have bolts going through to the sides and the rest of the parts that will fix the other side. So we'll get this part out and we'll get the sides in and we'll repeat the process. So that's the two sides and the base plate completed. Next, I'm going to drill the cross slide, and this will be the slide that the carriage uh, travels along uh, when we're just in the left and right cutting position. So we'll get that in the lathe. In the um, we'll get that in the milling machine and we'll get it drilled.
So there's the cross slide drilled. Um, all that's left to do is to drill the holes in the ends of that plate um, as well as the sides and the bottom plates. They all have holes that need drilled in the edge. So I'm going to get my cylindrical squares set up on the milling machine now and then we'll get those, hill, those holes drilled. So I've got the base plate set up on cylindrical squares. I'm just going to drill and tap three holes in the top and then we'll do the same with the side plates and the cross slide as well. So now we've got the, this is the cross slide set up. Um, there's two holes to be drilled and tapped in each end of this plate. And those holes that uh, hold the, the cross slide um, lead screw, there'll be a handle off a bracket off this side and the other side. So we'll get that drilled and tapped now. Uh, you can probably hear in the background it's uh, very windy, we've been hit by a storm here in the UK last night, um, so please excuse the uh, background noise. The next thing to do is to tap those holes that we've drilled now, so we'll get that done, we're going to tap M6 and uh, then we can move on to making the, the bed block, the base block, um, and this has been pre-cut as well, 50 by 50 mil square bar, and uh, this will be what holds everything together uh, when we assemble it. So this is the bed block now that I've got in the vise. I'm going to drill that and tap it. Um, it's tapped, drilled and tapped on three sides and on the end. Now this part holds together the base plate, the sides and the cross slide. Um, so once we've got this made we can put those parts together and we'll see how it fits up.
So there we have it, we've got the uh, parts together that we've made so far. Um, some of you Eagle Eye viewers might notice that I haven't put a screw in here and that this hole is slotted. Unfortunately I made a few mistakes on the base plate when I was drilling that end. The first mistake was I snapped an M6 tap in the end of the plate. So I'm waiting for a solid carb by drill just to try and clean that out and hopefully get it re-tapped and get a fixing in there. Uh, and the middle hole on that base plate I've managed to drill two and a half mil out of position. I think it was getting towards the end of the day and uh, I just lost concentration. But uh, I've, I've just about managed to recover it just by slotting that hole and uh, it works okay. That won't be saying too much because the carriage will slide just within that portion there so that will probably be covered all the time. Quite happy with that so I'm going to call that the end of this episode. In the next episode we'll get the ram and the all the guides fitted, the handle that will operate it um, and then we'll maybe get the head and the carriage made. Um, yeah. So thanks for watching. Um, if you haven't seen any of my videos before please check them out on my channel. Please subscribe, like, comment and uh, find me on Instagram. Thanks a lot.